what's going on guys code expert here and in the previous tutorial we talked about how to get the responses using this requests uh, module in python and in this tutorial we are going to build some robustness in our algorithm as well as we are going to get some um, json objects that are required uh, but before that uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel because that is how I will be able to create uh, the more tutorial and sustain myself on YouTube. So let's get started now. Uh, we have everything here and uh, the one thing that is missing is that it does not give you... Uh, in the previous tutorial we talked about how the status code works and we got the status code 200 here uh, but we don't know what to do when the status code is not 200 so it, uh, right now what happens so for example if i disconnect myself from the internet so let's do that and now my wi-fi is turned off and now if i uh, use this thing it's going to give an error because the internet is not available but what we want to do is that in the case that we have algorithm running on the computer we don't want to crash it if there is a uh, if there is an internet connection blackout or something else so we want it to keep trying till it gets the data all right and that's how we will be able to uh, use it in the real life so let's go back and try to uh, make it something robust so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new variable called uh, response polonix status code and I'm going to assign it a random number that is minus 999 which doesn't mean anything uh, but it's not available in the status code library here so it's a random number and uh, we are going to put a while loop and in the while loop, uh, if the response polonix status code is not equal to 200 while, then uh, while true, try this thing. Uh, oh, sorry you have to put it here so keep trying it means that keep trying till you get the status code 200 all right and accept print uh, let's print something like this so that we have the Poloniex status code which is this thing and continue All right and here break so what it's going to do now is it's going to try uh, this request until it gets the status code 200 and once the status code is 200 it's going to print this thing and it's going to continue and break this loop and then it's going to end the algorithm all right so let's also print print algorithm ended all right and now let's try uh, it once more here all right so it's uh, it's trying it more and more and more uh, without any interception so the reason for that is that we have this while true if we don't have this while true and if I do something like this then it's going to give us one single thing 
and it's going to end the algorithm all right but we don't we want this while true because we want it to execute uh, again and again so that we get the latest data from the website all right but let's uh, comment it right now and i'm going to uh, turn off my wi-fi and now let's go here and i'm going to hit and it's going to give me minus 999 and it's trying and trying and trying but now let's turn on the wi-fi and now it's uh, stopped and boom we have a response and then the algorithm is ended and if it is not while true then it's going to get this response more and more again and again so that we will uh, be getting uh, latest data from the website all right and the last thing in this tutorial that we are going to do now is to get the json response all right so we got this response polonix and we are going to convert it into the json uh, response by typing creating a new variable json response polonix is equal to uh, response polonix dot json all right and then let's print it out json response polonix and print oops print json response polonix all right and let's try it once more Uh, let me all right so it's while true that's why it's not uh, using it so let's uh, do something like this let's uh, comment the while true and now let's try it once more time boom so we have our all of the data that is in the um, response and you can see that it is all of the um the pairs that are available here and all of the current data regarding that ticker of that uh, pair all right so i hope you were able to do that and congratulations if you have able if you are able to do that if you didn't uh, if you had any error or something then please make sure to comment below and i will try to answer those queries and uh, thanks for watching please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's meet in the next video.